So 10 white. How many go on the top? So I've been here at Leroy for six years. Um, this is my second year as a math coach, and I'm absolutely loving it. Prior to that, I've had the experience of teaching um, math to third graders, fourth, fifth, sixth. So I really have that big picture perspective of how students learn math and how concepts grow and develop throughout the years. Um, last year, my first year as a math coach, I had the opportunity to work with all of our great teachers here at Wilka Street School and implementing some different instructional strategies and ideas um, and really just helping to build our curriculum here. So this year we are actually implementing a new program at the pre-K through second grade level and the program is called Bridges in Mathematics. Our math committee has done a really nice job researching and looking for a program that really was going to best fit our philosophy and our vision and for what we want our students here as mathematicians, what their experience will look like um, through their years at Wilka Street School. And this program, really our teachers fell in love with it. They felt that it really helped to build strong understanding of numbers and relationships and it, the program does a really nice job of helping students move through their understanding concretely with hands-on manipulatives um, and then moving to representing their thinking and to the abstract thinking as well in math. Um, so the program really has several different components to it. Number corner is one, workplaces and problems and investigations. Um, if you were to walk into a classroom with bridges going on, you would probably most likely see students engaged in group work, really making meaning together of math, um, a lot of different gameplay and investigation of concepts. Manipulatives play a big role and math tools play a big role in helping students to really see numbers in different ways and to make some connections, notice some patterns, you know, see relationships in math. Um, a couple of the different math tools that, that you'll see in Bridges are the math rack here, or it's a rack and rack, you can call it either one. Um, tens frames, unifix cubes, those are just a couple pieces that are used throughout the different grade levels um, to really help students build their understanding. So one way students might use a rec and rec if they're adding, um, let's say they're adding 6 plus 7, so they might bring over 6 plus 7 and then they can use their eyes visually to see six and six plus seven. They might see it as, oh, well, I know six and six is one of my doubles. Six and six is 12, and one more is 13. So that's just one way that this helps support their understanding of how numbers can be composed and decomposed and how they can use their understanding of different strategies in many different ways. Um, Tens frames, they're used in many ways in the classroom, but one way um, is students can, we can use tens frames to help them really subitize numbers. So we might flash a tens frame and ask the students, what'd you see? How did you see it? And they might, you know, explain it in a lot of different ways. One student might say, well, I know that there are seven there because I saw, I saw three and three is six, and then the one more is seven. And, you know, another student might say, well, I know there's seven because I know 10 would fill the frame, but three are missing, so that gives me seven. So there's a lot of ways that students might see an, an, the number seven and be able to explain, and which helps them because then they can look at seven decomposed in different ways, which plays an important role in their conceptual understanding. The unifix cubes, they can be used in a variety of ways as well. One way, if students are working on their understanding of numbers to make 10, students might take these and it, they have a stick of 10. OK, 
Okay, so what are some different ways that we can make 10? So students might explore and play around with breaking the unifix cubes and say, okay, I know here I've got seven and three make 10. You know, another student might pull apart and say, I see that nine and one make 10. And they can start to really see that 10 can be made, composed of several other numbers. Um, and then that helps them to when they're really learning their addition subtraction facts that making 10 is a big piece for them. Teachers have been very excited to launch this program and we've already heard some great feedback about how students are engaged and interested and they're excited when it comes to math time. Um, we are excited to share with our pre-k through two parents um, share more about our program and really dive into some of the different components and what you can expect to see um, from your children's learning at home. We are hosting a parent university night. It is going to be September 28th at 7 o'clock here at Wilka Street School. So more will be coming out about that night on Twitter.